Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Blood Omen 2, Chapter 6, The Industrial Quarter. I left the relative safety of Sanctuary and ventured once more into the night. The Industrial Quarter of Meridian was, I discovered, a heavily guarded fortress. Rather than assault it directly, I stole into the workers' cobbles and began my quest for the Nexus Stone there. I always thought that intro is a little bit odd, especially how it's basically a stealth mission for him to get into the bar, but once he's in here, it's... Well, it's gameplay back to normal. It seems a little bit like a missed opportunity for, you know, the player to actually do that, but what do I know? Anyways, you may notice our lore bar is a little bit high. That would be because I accidentally saved the, this area uh, from a previous playthrough when I didn't have that full war bar we got last time. So, we're gonna have to gain that back, plus probably another one, because this section has a pretty damn hard boss if you don't know what you're doing. So, time to kill more people. By the way, in another weird fact, if you uh, head back and look at when I was kicking that guy, the blood was coming from the bottom of the screen. Don't really know what's up with that either. Oh, and I hope you like switches, because we're doing some more of that. By the way, I really like the idea of this machine. It doesn't seem like it's producing much, but, you know, pretty cool. Also, we have a new weapon here. This is the scimitar. If you don't know much about blades, these typically have one edge rather than a dual-edged sword or anything like that, so it will make, of course, the stealth kills look really stupid when he's cutting people with the back end of the sword, which, you know, isn't sharp. Anyways, you'll see here in a second why I go back here and flip the switch again, because, well, yes, there is a door upstairs, and it's only openable once that's that way. Sadly, it, you know, it, I don't, just don't know. It's not a great idea to start a level off with backtracking in the first five seconds of the game. Anyways, we got a Seraphan Knight up here and we'll take care of him really quick. Hopefully this guy will get us what we need for our level up. Oh god, no. A charge is just almost impossible to dodge. Okay, it's not impossible, I just suck at it. There we go. Now you can see the scimitar is pretty weak, we did have to attack him eight times there. So it's probably a little bit stronger than a... well, the maces from the normal guards, but... I don't know, it's uh... not that great of a weapon. And we're back to where we should be, sorta. Minus all the extra guys I had to kill. So, in this video, you're gonna see a lot of blood drinking. Gotta get back up. More random machines don't really do anything. That's kind of a theme of this level. And we'll get to you in a second. No, 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 no. You get back here in your little rain boots. No, you're not going to call anyone. The only guard is behind that gate, and I don't plan on opening it. Anywho, I actually tend to skip these guys. I don't really know why. Um, to be honest, if you're actually playing through this game, I would recommend you don't skip anyone. No matter how high their health level is, they all seem to give a pretty damn good amount of lore. I, was, uh, I think I was wrong about that in the first video. I have no idea what these chicks are called. So we'll just call them female Seraphan guards. Basically, they're the same thing as a thief, but uh, stronger and, well, they look like Uma, kinda. 
They do have a Seraphon symbol in the back, so you know they're still affiliated with them, but... I don't know. It's they're really easy. Watch out for their strong attacks, because they kind of rape and are really hard to get away from. That ladder. Stay still. There we go. So thankfully up here is an exit. Why they have an exit on their rooftop, I'm not really sure, but, you know, let's not judge. I mean, I don't own this bar. Were you fucked? These humans never look twice in my direction. Little do they realize their future lord walks among them. Now, tell me of this place. Umar tells me the Nexus Stone will be found in the main factory beyond the dam. There will be a gondola to take you there. If this is deactivated, you must look below for the glyph to repower it. But be careful of the guards. Have you any further wisdom to dispense? I sense the presence of another vampire close by. He may be watching you. I will whisper you again when it is needful. Once again, I began to feel the obligations of power. To deal justice fairly to all. One day my people would know me again for their lord. But the vampires who were traitors to their kind would know me first of all. Not really sure why Vorador mentions that the glyph is going to be down below. It kind of insinuates that it's going to be in this area, but the gondola is actually not for a little while. Oh, I got lucky there. I mean, despite the fact that somehow both guards actually attacked me, I did miss out on that red attack, which probably would have kicked my ass. Thankfully, pretty much every enemy in this game fights almost exactly the same way. It's only really the minor touches you have to watch out for, like the unblockable attacks. The costume design choice on these guys is pretty interesting. It really does look like an Uma reject costume, but the little tassels on the back that form the Seraphan emblem are pretty neat. Now, directly below here is the switch to start the glyph, which makes me think that Forador was actually talking about this area, but this has nothing to do with gondolas. Aw, oh, you little bitch. I'm gonna beat you up in your stirrups. How do you feel about that? You're gonna die in stirrups. With butt floss. Your mom's proud. Anyways, let's start this glyph up. And of course, it'll take 80 million years to get up there, so we'll just do some stuff in the meantime, like beat on these poor dock workers. Whoever did the death sounds in this game deserves some sort of award. I don't know what we'll give him, but god damn it, you earned it. Alright, so over here we have the, another new weapon. This is the double-bladed saber. Anytime you see it, it looks kind of more like a wrench or a bone on the ground than actually... I guess it's its hilt. It will actually pop out uh, the two blades whenever you use it. So until then, it kind of just looks a bit odd and you're not quite sure what it is the first time you pick it up. To get back up where we were, we're going to have to do another jumping puzzle, but thankfully on the plus side, a nice blue chest here on the way up. And just like so, we're back at the start. Thankfully, at least everything's dead, so we can just walk over here and open the gate, and we're out of this hellhole. You know, that's it. I, I refuse to say we're out of this hellhole ever again. I know I say it too much. I'll never stop saying anyways. I recognize as a person that is my flaw, and I will continue to say any anyways forever. But uh, I'm not saying we're out of this hellhole, because 
we're seriously not out of this hellhole. Well, we're gonna be here forever, so... Until we're actually out, I refuse to say that again. <laughs>